out. Sorry. Sorry. So for those of you listening to the recording, we're talking about what makes melodies memorable. I'm sorry, I didn't start the recording sooner. And the two things we've gone to are repeated notes and ornaments. Can you think of other tunes that have an ornament that make it totally memorable? Because the Bach and the Fur Elise are really good ones. What's your definition of What an ornament is? Um, it could be a trill, it could be lower neighbor, upper neighbor, it could be a turn. Iggy. Yeah, so he does the ornament there at the end. Ba, da, da. That's not so interesting, is it? Ba, da, da, da. As soon as you hear the ornament, you know what it is. It's the C major sonata. Uh, this is okay. Yes, so Rhapsody in Blue, Stephen said, that's a good one. Um, now here's one without the ornaments. <laughs> Mozart. Oh, oh. Yes, ba -da 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 -da, ba -da 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 -da. As, soon, as soon as you hear ba -da 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 -da, and the minor third, you know it's the Ronda Walla Turka, right? But when I sang it without that, most of you went, I don't know what it is. These are important things. Then, now let's see, what have we had that we didn't get to? The Rachmaninoff third ba da 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 maybe gets at one principle because if it had been ba da 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 that doesn't sound like it right actually it sounds like another Rachmaninoff ba da 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 pom pom right that's a different Rachmaninoff he apparently liked do me re do absolutely um oh we'll do this one a major scale going down Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, Tchaikovsky, I forget what it was. Da, 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 da. Could be. This one, though, adds no notes. It is the notes of the major scale going down with no additions. Uh, is it Joy to the World? Joy to the world. It's not an ornament. We're getting to the next thing, which is rhythm. And that's what I think makes the Rachmaninoff recognizable that it starts on a long note and then has the shorter notes. So principle number three is rhythm, which comes into play in some of these too, right? Because if we'd had ba da 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 ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum bum bum, rhythm is huge, right? So that makes things recognizable. Let's see. And there's one with a repeated note. Another one with a repeated note. Bum ba da da dum ba da 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 dum ba da da dum ba da 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 da. What's that? See, I could just do that, and many of you in the room know it's bolero. Now that I've got you thinking of these, well, there's also unexpected notes. So not all of you will know this, but so if you write a pickup note, what note does it usually start on of the scale? The dominant. So if you started on the subdominant instead, instead of going ba da da, but did ba da da da, how many of you know that song? One from the late great Stephen Sondheim. Um, send in the clowns. It starts on the fa without then filling in everything from the so to the do. So having that little bit of scale there, Ba, da, da, da. 
ask the question and the first words are, isn't it rich? So getting back to Kim's talk about having the music tell something that the words maybe are telling and it's emphasizing them. That's what that starting on the fourth note does. Stephen. Um, are you talking about the cure of the or something like that? Anywhere notes. Uh, of course, it's kind of hard to say that it's weird because we all know. But from a musical perspective, I would say there are certain parts that are not Harry Potter that seem like that it like that's the kind of unexpected, especially which one? Hedwig's theme? Yeah, it's Hedwig's theme is really hard to sing if you don't have perfect pitch because it plays around the scale. Yes, it does. It's like I said, it plays around. And I think it's some of John Williams' best work because I don't think he stole that one from anybody. Zani, and I know Tim, but Zani. Not the main dress of one, the, the, dun, the, dun. Um, that note is the, I expected a bigger keyboard, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because when you do bata, we don't know that that's yeah. what it is, but when you go to the next note, yes. Oops, sorry, I just hit something. We have to come back to Zoom. Sorry. Tim. And it's the rhythm too. But uh and there's another tritone in that show. Maria. Maria. And the Maria theme sounds exactly like the theme for what animated series? The Simpsons. Oh, oh yeah, Lydia. Yeah. So it's a Lydian fourth, you could call it, but it's now, why would I bring up all of these things since we have three minutes till we're going to start the canon today in generating ideas? That's the most important question. <laughs> How? Yeah, Daisy. For music. Um, the goal obviously is to make it catchy and something that people can hum to it or something that I don't know, sticks to them for a very long time. That's what the goal of songs are. So by having these three principles that you that we listed, it would help, you know, get them in, engraved in their mind. Yes. And to borrow a Randall word, using these techniques on a melody that you maybe you're like well I worked on my melody but I can't remember it if you apply one of these to what you've written you will make it sticky that's a Randall word which means it sticks with you if you find you've written a melody and you worked on it for a while and later that day you can't remember it that is a really important bit of feedback to yourself that it's not a memorable theme. So apply something like this to it because if it doesn't stick in your brain, it's not sticky and it will stick in no one else's brain. Does that make sense? But then this also tells you if you've written something and you've worked on it a lot, you don't have to throw it away if it's not sticky yet. Use that yet word that's a favorite of what's her name who does the mindset stuff. It, I, I'll think of her later. It's too early in the morning. I haven't had enough of my coffee yet. But um, just think about, so it's not sticky yet, but it will be sticky. I can make it sticky. I can try out, and you can try it. It doesn't have to be at the beginning of the piece. It doesn't have, or your theme. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It doesn't have to be at the end. It can be anywhere in the theme. You can apply repeated notes. You can apply rhythmic interest. You can um, add ornaments. You can mix up the order of what you've done and see if that makes it sticky. But the goal is to come up, it, it can be something short because in my session in an hour, we're gonna talk about how to take something short and spin it out into something longer so that you aren't 
writing four measures and then you go, oh, I don't know what to write next. So you write a new four measures that have nothing to do with the first four measures. And then you're stuck again and you write a new four measures and it becomes this, I don't know, montage of little themes that somehow nothing happened with. Make sense? So it is now, or do I have five more minutes before we do that? Um. I think we do, because I go till 9.25. We have five minutes before the canon, unless you want five, unless you want 15 minutes with canon today. Yeah, I need to be starting at 9.25. Oh, no, 9.30, 9 9.30. 30. 9 30. Yeah, whatever you worked out. And now I do have to create a new score. Well, we can apply these to the canon theme, right? I have to make sure I'm sharing screen so that all the folks can see this. And let's see, it's canon time. Yes, Tim, thank you. And Nathan said, Mr. Brightside, basically one note. Maria, Kim Sherman said, repetition legitimizes. I didn't see the chat earlier, sorry. Uh, let's see, share screen. New score, share sound. Okay, the title of our piece will be Canon 2022. How many people here, JCI 2022 are the composers. How many of the people here have written Canon with me in the years gone by? I mean, the JCI Canon, we know Kevin and William have it. So Stephen and Caleb and Lucas and Anthony and Tim and Iggy all have, and the rest of you haven't. Eric has put them into a DAW to make it all work in the past. It's very good. Oh, we have to choose voices, don't we? This is gonna be for vocals. We will have three voices. <laughs> Now, what we want to do first, actually, what? What key? What key? What we want to do first is come up with some things that already are things that have impressed you about JCI. They can be humorous. Last year was Zoom, Zoom, don't crash on me. We aren't having that issue this year. More mute. More mute. We need mute stuff. Randall, you're muted. She, her microphone picked me up. <laughs> Vedant put seven sharps. <laughs> I love it. Um, we've wanted that in the past, but you know, we can write it in none and then put it in seven because seven sharps is of course C sharp major if we're in major because you have to sharp every single note to go up a half step, right? Makes sense. But so we have, I'm erasing this. And I think this screen is easiest for folks to see. Yeah, you're, you're right. This, this board. So what did you just say? You're right. You can see no, screen. no. I, that was a thing for the for the canon. Mute. Mute. Yes. Mute. Mute yourselves or something. What else? Tim. How many are in person? In person. We have three online. So it's 18 in person. 18. Three notes. He wants to relate everything. We'll, we'll think about that when we get to the melody. First, we want the ideas. Do we want Eric's, Eric's pointing finger? Although what's a good way to say it? The people aren't gonna think it's the finger. We... Eric's pointing background, something like that. The file name is my hand. So I don't know if that means anything. My hand dot PNG. My hand .png. Oh, that's where you get it. Somebody said something and it's with the fans, it's hard to hear here. The canon of the hand. 
There's a name. And we haven't done our death march yet, so we aren't going to write about that today. <laughs> That'll be Wednesday. Tuesday. No, Wednesday when we write. The death Tuesday. march will be Tuesday. Tuesday. Any other other thoughts yet? Not yet. Okay, that's okay. Because we can take this and figure out what's a good sentence with mute randall you're muted, randall, you're muted. oh i like that. that randall you're muted but that's going to be our first line no i'm not it's the second line <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you think the first line is going to be Aaron's pointing. Aaron, Eric's pointing. What do you think? Is that a good first line? Eric has the hand things. Any more in the chat? Because we want to be able to come up with a sticky little melody, right? I love it. Is this tune going to have pickup notes? Probably. What? Yeah. What? Six Sarah Rad Randall. Rad Randall. Rad Randall's Lucas. Uh, I, really hate your mind. Your I don't know. It's tricky to do that with the canon because when you overlay things, then you'll have that third clashing with each other. Unless we think about where exactly we put those notes. Well, let's come up with a rhythm for Randall, you're muted. Okay. Randall, you're muted. So, what about Randall? You're <laughs> you'd be gestures as well. Oh, gestures. I think we're in four four time. Would you say? Let's start with just no sharps and no flats. Okay. Randall. Now, do we want to rest after Randall? Oh, wait. We need to Randall. Rad Randall. Do we, how many of you want rad before Randall? How many of you don't want rad before Randall? The don'ts have it. Oh. Sorry. It should be in 27 8. Vedan, I want you here. <laughs> But you are here via Zoom. It's just, I can tell you have a great sense of humor. Very fun. Okay, Randall, now do we want to rest after Randall? Randall, you're muted. First time I heard my name oh. in my head. <laughs> Randall, you're. No, I'm.
Does that look right to everybody? Now I want to see. Can you see that, folks online? Uh, let's see. You've got the screen uh, of notation in in the way. I need to get it lower. Yeah, and you're yeah. There. Yes. Okay, everybody online can see that now, right? Mm -hmm. So now I can put in. I'm just going to put in uh, notes and. Sorry, I'm on the chat, not on my note. Okay, that's going into the cannon. <laughs> and what I'm doing is just putting in the rhythm. And that's kind of high. Oops. We want those done. Sorry. We have we have a few minutes. Yep. Let's see if we can come up with the notes. Now, if we're in C and we can change key anytime we want. Are we in major or minor? I like major. It sounds better. Also, I'm wondering if the downbeat isn't the of uh, beat three of that. So you have to start on the two of the, of the pickup measure. I can do that. Yep, like that. So that not. Not and, and, and muted. Randall. Randall, the rand first syllable is given that emphasis and not is given us emphasis. Well, this is Randall on beat three. Do you want to be in two, four instead? No, I see Randall, I'm muted. No, I'm not. One, two, three, four, one. Randall, Randall you're, you're muted. muted. No, no, I'm not. Okay. And I'm just saying. Okay, Lucas. Okay. I can't hear what you Major said, right? or minor, that's what Lucas is asking. How many say major? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Online, online. And online folks, how many majors? That can make it difficult. Let's see, Nathan, major good? Vedant, major okay? Even though I know you want seven sharps. The next note should be F sharp, but it should eventually resolve to major. Randall, you're muted. Is that what you want? Because we've got, we don't have to have these repeated notes, do we? Randall, you're, do you want to come back to see here? Randall, you're muted. Now you guys have to be able to sing this. Ooh, I'm gonna do that as an option. Move this over here. Oops. I hate it when it does these kind of things. Chat, get little. Okay, so you had F, G. B flat. Okay, let's listen to both of these. We didn't do anything with those last notes. So either of these could work. I would say we don't want three C's here unless we add an ornament. Okay, Daisy? Yeah. 
We have to stop. Yeah. We will come back to this tomorrow and I will stop the share and I will end this session. You guys were great fun. We'll be doing more Canon at 11. So you're from 9.30 to 10.15. Okay. Yeah, 10.40. Yeah. So 10.45. Anybody who wants back in on the Canon, even yeah, if yeah. you don't want to come to my other session, you are fine. I'm going to end this. And anyone who wants to be in Randall's, then you, you gotta do Great. that. Good job. Bye.